just days away now from a total eclipse of the sun. People are so excited to see this rare event and on April 8th we'll experience the near total eclipse in southeast Michigan and now we're getting a look at one of the spots Metro Detroiters are expected to flock to come Monday. Victor Williams live in Luna Pier for us tonight with what first time eclipse watchers can expect a perfect name too for this city. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Kimberly and Devin. Luna Pier is pretty great. I mean, it's a place where you can come and see the beautiful scenery that's here with all the water. And it's also one of the places where you'll be able to see that eclipse. But the thing is, the mayor doesn't want you to, and he has good reason. I like anything, you know, like uh, that, like, uh, well, it's kind of out of the ordinary. It's just fantastic. The excitement around the total eclipse is growing with anticipation day by day. It is super exciting, and one of the cool things I liked is hearing everybody talk about how everybody's coming to Luna Pier to gather. Although the city of Luna Pier is more than prepared for the normal group of spectators, one factor has resulted in the mayor asking the eager group of onlookers to go to Ohio. Our bridge, which was built in 1955, the bridge over I-75, and the main point of entrance and exit for the city is was demolished in November of last year. And it won't be complete and open again until July of 2024. So that's gonna make getting in and out of town very challenging. We're asking people to consider going down into Toledo where you'll get more like a minute and a half to three minutes of uh, total totality in the eclipse rather than our 30 seconds here. That won't be a problem for Nancy Gotham, who plans to watch from home. It's going to be so crowded here, so I should be able to see it good from home. We live at Britain address. There we go. So it's pretty close by. I'll oh, we'll go watch it on TV too, all the coverage, because it's going to be on TV all day. Regardless, Mayor Jim Gartner says the city will be ready for whatever takes place. Be very, very patient if you do come, because uh, it, it will be backed up. We're expecting traffic to be backed up for a while getting out. And you can see all the construction signs leading right over to that bridge that's being demolished, soon to be constructed once again. Hopefully by the time that construction's done, we won't have to deal with anything like this once the next eclipse comes around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. appear, Victor Williams. Welcome to the Boston, so. All right, Victor, we appreciate it. And uh, you can expect more from us on Eclipse Day than any other station because we'll be streaming live all day from Cleveland, Toledo and Luna Pier. Plus, we'll be talking to NASA astronauts and scientists about this rare event as it happens. Cool.